Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a short demo of Salesforce Code Builder which is in beta currently. So you will be able to get and install this from Salesforce App Exchange. Once it is installed, you can assign for Code Builder permission sets to the required users and they will be able to get started with Code, build, code Builder. For that, you can open App Launcher and here you can search for Code Builder and you can open code builder once you open code builder you will be getting a screen like this where you can see a get started once you click on get started it will give you two options either create a new project from scratch or you can import your existing project from github so now let us proceed with new project you can give a project name and then select project type And I'm choosing the project type as standard. Continue. Here you will be able to connect to a development org or connect to a sandbox org. Here I am going to connect to a development org. So this is the current org where I am installed, where I have installed code builder. So I'm going to connect to a different org for the demo. is asking for permission so let me click on allow you can see the org got connected successfully and we can click on next and we need to give an alias here i'm just giving in the my dev org and you can click on create so this creation of or setting up of the environment might take some time also like you all know this is in beta version and there are some limitations on the number of hours that we will be able to use this so it is given us 20 hours i already used almost three hours so you can see the hours remaining and also there is a documentation which says that uh, probably this is available for one month only so you can see it is expiring on august 13 i will be able to use this beta version for one month after that it might get expired and also it's mentioning like once you develop something in code builder it will be there for 20 hours only so it's important that you need to frequently check in your code components to your repository or to an org So here you can see the creation code completed and you can click on launch. This is getting navigated to the code builder. The code builder is available now. You can see it's very similar to our Visual Studio code itself and here you can see it's automatically connected to the org that we have developed and here even i will be able to access um, org browser and i will be able to download components to my local for example uh, let me open apex class and i can either download a specific class or i will be able to download the entire apex class list and if you go back to your code repository details sorry if you go back to the project you can see the particular class that we selected it is available already and also you will be able to connect to your source control you can initialize and basically i think it's supporting github at this moment and in addition to that you can connect to some other org also like you know if you would like to authorize another org you can do that like in visual studio code and if you would like to run Cori, even the Cori builder, Cori builder is available and we will be able to select our object and execute Cori from here. Okay. 
can select account so it will be loading the field so i'm just selecting name and here you will be able to run the query and it is going to display all the accounts that present in your instance so this is a really cool feature from salesforce and you will be able to also execute test classes now there are no test classes that i downloaded otherwise if i download you will be able to execute test classes also and ability test also from here so like i mentioned this is really a great feature from for developers especially when you are when you are traveling or when you are using a different machine and if you need to handle a quick uh, deployment or quick issue fix you can work from anywhere using salesforce code builder thank you